Hello. Our topic for today's lesson is Open sentences. Lesson duration remains 5 minutes. Please pay attention as we go through the lesson together. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Know what an open sentence is. 2. Use symbols and letters in open sentences. 3. Know what algebraic terms are. And 4. Collect like algebraic terms. Before we continue, let us define some words. For the purpose of this lesson, let's see the meaning of the following words. Algebra is a branch in mathematics that deals with symbols or variables and uses arithmetic operations to find the unknown quantities represented by these variables. Open sentence is a statement that contains at least one blank or unknown that becomes true or false when the blank is filled. The unknown is a variable in an equation which has to be solved for. A variable is a letter used to represent a number. Value refers to the worth of each digit depending on its position in the number. Coefficient is a number multiplied by a variable. A term is a single mathematical expression. Like terms are terms that have the same variables or powers. Unlike terms are terms that do not have the same variables or powers. Now, let us discuss open sentences. Open sentences In algebra, statements about numbers are either true or false. Let's look at the following statements. A. 2 plus 3 equals 5 B. 4 plus 5 equals 10 We see that the first statement is true, whereas the second statement is false. Therefore, an open sentence is a statement that contains at least one blank or unknown that becomes true or false when the blank is filled. Note that, to find the solution to an open sentence, we find the value of the blank that when substituted makes the statement true. Let's see an example. Consider the term blank plus 8 equals 11, which is an open sentence. Solution For the statement to be true, the value of the blank must be 3. Hence, 3 plus 8 equals 11. Therefore, the blank equals 3. That's brilliant. Use of symbols and letters in open sentences. In algebra, we can use symbols or letters to replace the blanks or the unknown. We have various symbols and letters used in algebra to represent mathematical concept. Below are some of the symbols and letters. Now, let's see how these symbols and letters are used in algebra. Let's see an example. Find the numbers which will make the following expressions true. 1. Star symbol plus 3 equals 13. 2. Letter Y times 3 equals 15. Solution. 1. The expression star plus 3 equals 13 will only be true if the value of star is 10. Therefore, 10 plus 3 gives us 13. 2. The expression y times 3 equals 15 will only be true if the value of y is 
5. Therefore, 5 times 3, gives us 15. That's brilliant. Algebraic terms. Algebraic terms, are made up of unknown terms, and numbers. Remember that, the coefficient of an algebraic term, is a number, which multiplies the unknown term. Examples of algebraic terms, include 6a 5y minus 7q minus 3u, etc. In each of these terms, 6 in 6a and 5 in 5y are called positive coefficients. And a, y, q, and u are called unknown terms. While minus 7 in minus 7q and minus 3 in minus 3u are called negative coefficients. The coefficients can also be in fractions like 3 over 9x and minus 1 over 4w. That's brilliant. Collection of like terms. To collect like terms, we simply bring the terms with common letters to the same side. Let's see an example. Arrange the like terms in 8u plus 4x plus 3u. Solution. 8u plus 4x plus 3u equals 8u plus 3u plus 4x. Note that letters can be arranged alphabetically where there are two or more different letters. Example. Letter u comes before letter x. While 8u and 3u are the common terms collected to the same side. Let's see another example. Collect the like terms in 4x plus 7t plus x plus 2t plus 3p. Solution. 4x plus 7t plus x plus 2t plus 3p equals 3p plus 7t plus 2t plus 4x plus x. That's very good. Assignment. Pause the video, copy the following assignments, and write the answers in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. What an open sentence is. 2. How to use symbols and letters in open sentences. 3. What algebraic terms are. And 4. How to collect like algebraic terms. I believe you enjoyed this lesson. See you in our next one. Thanks. And goodbye.